42 Indians were among the 49 migrant workers who tragically lost their lives in a devastating fire that swept through a seven-story building in Mangaf, Kuwait's Al Ahmadi Governorate. The fire broke out early on June 12th, primarily affecting those asleep at the time. Thick smoke led to suffocation, worsened the situation. Of this 24 deceased were from Kerala alone. The remaining 7 victims are reported to be from Pakistan, the Philippines, Nepal and Egypt. As many 56 people have also been injured in the fire and were hospitalized. Foreign Minister Abdullah Ali Aliha of Kuwait pledged complete assistance to Indians affected by the tragic fire incident in Kuwait. This assurance was made during a meeting with India's Minister of State for External Affairs Kirti Vardhan Singh who is currently in Kuwait overseeing relief operations and visiting the injured. Kerala Health Minister Veena George is set to travel promptly to Kuwait to lead efforts in aiding the families affected by the tragic fire both those who lost loved ones and those who were injured. Indian ambassador Adarsh Swaika conducted visits to the site of the fire and several hospitals where the injured were admitted. Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Mishal Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah has personally mandated an investigation into the incident, emphasizing that those found responsible will face consequences. Additionally, Sheikh Fahad Al Yusuf Al Sabah The first deputy prime minister has ordered the immediate arrest of the building's owner, janitor and the owner of the company responsible for the workers. DNA testing is underway to identify the bodies as most of the bodies are completely charred and are beyond recognition. That may delay the repatriation of remains to India. The Indian force is prepared to transport the bodies back home. as soon as they are identified Prime Minister Narendra Modi and External Affairs Minister S Jay Shankar conveyed their deep dismay regarding the incident while Congress leader Rahul Gandhi expressed grave concern about the welfare of Indians in the Gulf region The Prime Minister announced rupees 2 lakh ex gratia relief from the prime minister relief fund for families of deceased and rupees 50000 for the injured following a special cabinet meeting this morning the kerala chief minister pina rai vijayan led government announced financial aid of rupees 5 lakh for the families of the deceased and rupees 1 lakh for the injured for more such updates stay tuned to orissa post live